she gets everything I am. Do you love your woman? Do you treat her right? Hold her in your arms. Look her in the eye. I love that woman. I give her everything I My name is Stephen Fearing. I'm a Canadian musician. I'm traveling through the Netherlands, doing solo shows. My music is roots music. Uh, sometimes I sneak in under the Americana banner. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. If I'm on my own, it's uh, it's a little bit more on the Americana side. If I'm uh, playing in, in Canada with my band Blackie and the Rodeo Kings, it's a little bit more rock and roll, so it, it really depends. All you need to know And when you hear that voice calling Everybody knows Those who went ahead of you are singing you back home you turn around, it takes everything you have. Well, I, I guess, you know, sometimes the, uh, the, um, the answer to how much blues is in my music, it's always, you know, in the, the person who's, who's watching me would have a stronger opinion on that than me. I grew up in Ireland. Like, I grew up listening to top 40 uh, music like Slade and you know the sweet and and bands like that and then and then punk came along and all the while I was sitting learning Gordon Lightfoot songs so I really don't have a strong root however I have been in a band for the last 23 years with one of the greatest slide players I know Colin Linden and so certainly uh, it's it's influenced me a lot um, and it's definitely a part of what I do and you'll definitely hear that in tonight's show and certainly because I'm playing a, a club in front of Joan Osborne, it'll be leaning a little bit more that way than sort of the, uh, the more sensitive singer-songwriter kind of material. But somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic is where I come from. In a city all alone Hear that lonesome whistle in your heart Tells you all you need to know And when you hear that voice calling Everybody knows those who went ahead of you are singing you back home. You turn around. What I love about over here is that um, you guys aren't as hard and fast in your definitions. You know, you're a blues radio station and you're interviewing me. And I often play Americana clubs. And to me, I don't really think about those genre definitions very much at all. I just play. And sometimes people come out and they hire me into a folk club in England. And sometimes it's an Americana club. And sometimes it doesn't really have a label attached to it. And I, personally, I don't really care. But um, what I do like about over here is that uh, there is a real strong appreciation for this music, even outside the major centers. And uh, I also get a sense that people that come to the shows have a sense of who you are and what you've done. And they might know about your earlier records. And, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty humbling, you know, to come all the way around the world and have somebody come up and ask for a specific song off a record that you put out, you know, 20 years ago. It's pretty neat. I was touring through the UK maybe three years ago and I ran into a guy named Roy Gandy. And Roy is in his 70s now. In the early 1970s, he started a company in England called Riga Research. And Riga makes turntables, amplifiers, speakers, that kind of thing. So Roy's been in that business, well, since he was a young man. And uh, he's still making the same thing. And he basically wanted to make a record with me that was as low tech and as hi-fi as you can get. So really good mics, really good um, tape deck. Like a, we had an old Studer 8 track, but... Nothing else, like nothing else in between. No mixing console, no EQ, no nothing. So just two mics going straight onto tape and then from tape straight to uh, the cutting lathe. And the record was cut at Air Studios in, in uh, London. So it's, it's this really weird mix of low tech and hi-fi. And uh, a, the challenge for me, of course, is there's no, there's no fix it in the mix, you know? There's no, no editing, no splicing, there's nothing. Not even, we did add a little bit of reverb to it um, because the record sounded, to my thinking, a little dry. Um, but uh, it's, a very, it's a very warm, 
very analog sounding record. And the idea was to, to as, pos as, as faithfully as possible capture, you know, the sound of my voice on this guitar. So that's what we did. I don't want to live in a blowhard nation with the king in a tinselly crown. When the whole thing wobbles and the wheels come off, you know what's going to go down. There's the same sad story about the power and the glory. The I mean, I grew up in Ireland, and Ireland has a very particular kind of melancholy in their music that I love so much because that's not where they live, but they're not scared to go there. And so certainly people would, uh, I think, would say the same about my own music. Is uh, There is a melancholy in it, but it's not... Uh, like they used to say about Leonard Cohen, which was wrong, by the way, but people used to say, you yeah, music to slash your wrists by. And that was just because in the, you know, in the groovy 60s when everybody was uh, tuning in, turning on and tuning out, I can't remember what it was, but you know, Leonard was going pretty deep with some of his lyric, but um, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't unmittingly dark. It, there was a there was a lot of light in his music too. So that that that's for me as well as to be able to go to both places. And certainly, um, I think that people feel lonely a lot. So I I don't feel like it's necessarily my job to cheer them up. I'm not doing a song and dance, but I do love entertaining people. And uh, it's taken me this long to feel that that's okay. Um, and I think that the really great performers like Joe Lewis Walker, I think that they are entertainers. And there's show, there's, they bring a show. And I, I, I really love that. But within that, there can be a lot of different possibilities. It doesn't all have to be, you know, zippity doo -dah. <laughs> Christ Almighty, well there ain't no spine in the words. And when they talk of resurrection, they're thinking the election is the saddest thing I ever heard. And then the whole debate has a sickening weight, like a steer when the hammer comes down. When you see the cross, you better get lost. Hi, this is Stephen Fearing. I'm touring through Holland right now. And you are listening to dibluesradio.com. 